Well, hello, hello. Are you ready for round two? All right, thin crust pizzas. Okay, the kids love these ones. Now, they're heaps similar to the stuffed crust. It's just pretty much a different sort of dough, a different size dough. So let's just smash it out. 385 ml of warm water. One and a half teaspoons of a salt down one side. Two teaspoons, level teaspoons of dried yeast. All right, I get that in the supermarket where you get uh, in the baking aisle with your self-raising flowers and flowers. One tablespoon of olive oil. This is so quick and easy, my friends. Now, I always love using these cake scraper thingy magics, okay? Because um, they're really easy to scrape the dough out after. Now, I always use a handle, so you can use a wooden or plastic handle of any utensil you've got. Just give it a little mix in. Just like that. Three and a half cups of plain flour in there. With the handle, mix it. So this is a decent sized bowl. Um, so for the thin crust, this makes two, two dough bases. And today I'm going to do one on a round pizza pan and one on a cookie tray just to show you that um, you can do it on a cookie tray too if you don't have a pizza tray yet, all right? So we just want to get it until it goes into a big pile of mess like that, all stuck together. You don't want to do it for very long. Scrape it off. Okay, with the scraper part, scrape down the edge of it. Just sort of pat it all in a little bit. And mate, your pizza dough is done. How awesome is that? Okay, glad wrap. Sorry if you can't see for a sec. Glad wrap it really good. I always do it on twice. And we want to get a tea towel, nice thick tea towel, and put it on top of it. Once we've got the tea towel on top, we want to put it in a dry place, warm, dry place. So you don't want it near a door or a window. You just don't want a draft. A draft is the only thing that will stuff it up. So if you can't do that, uh, put it in your oven with the oven off or in a cupboard, okay? And we're going to leave it sit there to do its beautiful magic for one and a half hours. Man, I love making pizzas. Yeah, oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay, take it off. As soon as you take it off, it will go straight down. Now this is thin crust, remember, not the other one. That's why it's all in one. Oh, I'll draw it so you can see. Uh, you got to wash your thingy majiggy again. Stab it. Go around once. Get rid of the gas. Put some flour down. Scrape the whole thing onto it. Don't be afraid to use some flour. Just want to get it so we can actually hold it. So just keep flouring around. Make sure you're in view. Yep. Okay, I'm going to get a knife. Should have done that first, as usual. Right, we're going to roughly find what half is. And cut it down the middle. Okay, now I'm doing one round and one on a cookie tray just to show you. So first thing we're going to do is for... The round one, flour the surface, pick up our dough and whack it in the middle. Okay, that's for the round one. And for the uh, cookie tray one, rectangle one, do you flour on there? Ah, oh, no room in a little kitchen, I'm telling you. Alright, I want to get it into like a log. Not round this time because we're doing it in the all right, like so. Pick it up, oh, look at this, <laughs> and put it on it this way. And let's do this.
first one goes in our preheated oven at 240 degrees Celsius. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. First one's ready. 15 minutes exactly. Out she comes. Put the other one straight in. Listen to that sizzle. Oh yeah. Make sure you put your timer on. 15 minutes. Oh. oh. I'm spewing that. You just on camera. You just can't see how nice these are. I'll try and get it on an angle for you to see that way as well. If that's possible. Mate, how easy are these? You have to make these with your kids. Make a day of it, especially if we're all going to... I'm pretty sure we're all going to go back into lockdown again. But yeah, make a day of it. Get all the stuff and oh, eat them that night with them while you're watching a movie and then freeze all the rest. Oh, it's awesome. All right, so you get your scraper and you scrape around. So we'll put enough flour on the bottom, it should be right. All right, I've got to try and do it left-handed so you can see. So I'll just get the end up. Slide the baby off. <laughs> Pizza one, down and dusted. All right, I'll cut it straight down the guts and then into four. And it makes eight really nice big pieces. Kids love these ones. Adults love the stuff for us and kids love these ones. Upwards and onwards. Next pizza, please. 15 minutes later. Oh, look at this one, my friends. Oh, yum. Yummo. Pizza number two. Scrape all around it. Mate, check that out. Oh, it smells so good up in here. Crunchy, thin crust pizza. Oh, yeah. I'll write all the directions below for everything you need to know from whether you want to cook it from frozen to everything I put on it. Have yourselves an awesome night. You know me. I'll be back. Bye.